Now in this question we're working with algebraic inequalities. Now a key thing to remember with an inequality is that it is different from an equation in that we get a range of values as our answer, not just a single solution. However, the general technique of solving an inequality does not change from solving an equation. There's only one thing that we need to maybe consider a little bit more, and that's the inequality sign in the middle, but we only deal with that if we have to. If we don't have to, we don't need to worry. So I want to solve this inequality quickly and easily. Now, the first thing we need to do is if we get something like this, is think about getting rid of the fractions. If we can get rid of the fractions, then it makes it a whole lot easier. Now, a way to do this is look at the denominators of the fraction and think of the lowest common multiple of both of those denominators. So I've got a 3 and I've got a 5. My lowest common multiple is 15. So if I take both sides of this inequality and multiply both sides completely by 15, what that's going to do is eliminate any denominators that exist within my inequality. I'll need to do a little bit more numeracy work with it, but it'll eliminate them and it'll make it much more straightforward for us to be able to work with. So if I take the left hand side, so I'll have x plus 1 over 3 take away 2, I'm going to multiply that whole side by 15, I know that's going to be greater than the 3x plus 5, and again I'm going to multiply that whole side there by 15. So left side, I'm going to multiply each term by 15. So the x plus 1 over 3, if I multiply that by 15, that's the equivalent of me just multiplying the x plus 1 by 5. Because I'm essentially going to have 15 divided by 3, which will give me 5. I'm then going to take away 2 times 15, because I've got to multiply that part of the bracket as well by it. That's going to then be greater than the 3x over 5, times 15, well 15 divided by 5 is 3, so that's going to end up being the equivalent of 3x times 3, which will give me 9x. So if I then take the bracket on the left, I expand the bracket, start to simplify things, I'll then be able to solve my inequality as I normally would. So I'll end up with 5x plus 5 minus 30 is greater than 9x, so 5x minus 25 is greater than 9x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shift the 5x across to the left by subtracting it from both sides. I'm then going to get negative 25 is greater than 4x. So negative 25 over 4 is greater than x. So I've got my solution like that. Now normally when it comes to solving an equation, we want the x on the left. And that's the case here as well for an inequality. We prefer having the x on the left. So in this case, I'll be able to put the x on the left and then the minus 25 over 4 on the right. However, this is the difference between an equation and an inequality. For an equation, I could just swap both sides directly over. For an inequality, if I just swap both sides directly over, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from negative 25 over 4 is bigger than x, to x is bigger than negative 25 over 4. So I'm going to completely contradict myself. So if you swap both sides of an inequality, your inequality in the middle has to flip and turn around. So instead of writing negative 25 over 4 is greater than x, I'm going to write it as x is less than negative 25 over 4. That's the big difference between an equation and an inequality, is the inequality sign can flip depending on whether we move things to both sides or whether we change signs of both sides. So, for example, I could have taken this line here, the 5x minus 25 and then is greater than 9x, and went with this logic of putting the x's on the left and numbers on the right. And I'd have ended up with negative 4x is greater than 25. So what I'm going to then do at that stage is I'm going to divide both sides by negative 24. But because it's a negative that I'm multiplying or dividing by, my inequality would flip in this case. So again, I'd end up with x is less than negative 25 over 4. 
That's the only real difference between an equation and an inequality, is you've just got to watch if you flip both sides around in their entirety. How is that going to affect the inequality and then the overall solution for your equation, for your inequality, apologies. So you just have to make sure of that. So watch that step there. As long as you can remember that, solving this is like solving an algebraic equation. We've been doing that for years now. We should be able to solve an equation. If we got to this stage here, and it was an equation, so 5x minus 25 equals 9x, and you couldn't solve that at this stage, we'd probably start getting worried. So if we can get it to a stage like that where we've got previous skills from years before that we've been working with, and we can use them, let's do it. Bring in skills we're comfortable with and that we've worked hard on, and let's make it work. And if we can do that, we can take a problem like this that initially might seem tricky and make it into something we can solve fairly quick, easy peasy, lemon squeezy.